What happens if the people who were supposed to take care of the coronavirus patients get sick themselves? Some doctors and nurses who don't usually handle critical care cases say they're concerned about that. Danny Monteverdi explains. If the nurses and doctors who typically handle critical care get sick, you need to replace them. And those replacements can be found at hospitals across the area. But the nurses and doctors who would be those replacements, they worry that their skills aren't the ones necessary to handle COVID cases. They don't want to speak on camera because they fear for their jobs, but hospital officials and other medical officials we spoke to say they believe anyone who works at a hospital is nimble enough to move into a new job, and they say they won't be doing those jobs alone. Dr. Leo Sewani with Ochsner says there are some people right now being asked to do jobs they don't normally do, but he says there's always someone with them and no one is working alone. We're able to move patients around where we're needed. We have incredible amount of data. We can do modeling to see what, what with this pandemic, where do we see our resource needs in the next week, in the next two weeks? And then we're mobilizing all the talent in the system to be able to meet that. Healthcare providers say there's another concern they have, and that's testing. They don't want to take tests if they don't need to because they know there are a finite number and don't want to have to use them if that's not necessary. They also say, though, if they test positive, they know it's a burden on their colleagues who are going to have to fill their shifts for two weeks while they're in self-quarantine. These are just some of the struggles happening inside of many hospitals around New Orleans, one of the hot spots around the United States. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.